Hi guys, welcome to an all things tennis video. Today we're gonna look at the beautiful new Wilson Pro staff. We've got the 100X and the 97. We're gonna go for a slightly different format today, guys. So let us know in the comment section what you like and what you don't like about it. We're gonna get these guys and their first impressions hit with the racket and how they transfer that into playing matches with it, playing point play, the overall authentic impression of the racket, which we try and be as much as we can to you at all things tennis. So. Shirag is going to try the 97 and the 100X, both at 315 grams and the same as Michelle. Let's see how they get on with it today. Just before we get to their first impressions hitting, design guys, what are we thinking? Can you be bronze warriors on courts with these? Yeah, I quite like it. <laughs> it's, think? I think it's so stunning, like it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, looks department gets a thumbs up. We'll wait to see what they think in the playing department. Look how clean. I think if you've got one of these sorts of players, you have to put a pro staff in the hand. Beautiful single hander, dead stable through contact, clean as you like. You've got to get a pro staff in the hand, surely. He hits such a nice ball, mate. He, he surely, surely, guys, he can't not like this the way he's hitting the ball, surely. Let's get their impressions, guys. Oh. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it, all things says. So. Cheeky little drop shot, rolls off ready for the interview. So, Shirag, we're trying something a bit different. Obviously, you're hitting with the rackets, getting your first impression. It's a racket I know you wanted to try, and that is in your spec range, the 97. He plays with a blade 98. He actually adds weight to his racket already. So, specs wise, should be all right. He's hitting a dreamy ball, it looks good, but let's hear from the man himself. What's your first impression when hitting with a racket? I actually quite like it a lot. Yeah? <laughs> it, um, it doesn't move like at all during like impact. That's the main thing. Like Some rackets you get, you have a little bit of that on both sides, but this is like completely stable. Yeah. What about power generation, forgiveness, spin generation? When, when I do go for it or accelerate, it feels like it's got a bit of safety behind it. Like it feels it catches mm -hmm. the ball at the right moment. I think that like, you can have a bit of both with this. Like, when I wanted to defend with the slice, yeah. I felt like it was stable, but when I wanted to actually rip the backhand and go for it, it felt like it was, I still had the same stability going for the same shot as well. And how does it compare first impressions in the back with your blade? Um, I've played with a blade for a while now, so I think I probably need to hit with it a bit more because I'll be comfortable with the blade, but the blade is, a tiny bit more like flimsy in the hand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whereas this is a bit more like it's it's not as it's not as easy kind of like shaking in your hand. If that makes sense. Let's hit a few more, hit a few different more shots. Obviously, slice, defends, get used to the racket, yep. and then we'll come back to some more impressions. He's hitting that heavy topspin ball as well. It's like that pro stuff. You've got that flatter ball is perfect for that. He's getting a lot of whip on it. Hopefully you can see in terms of the court level hitting that weight of ball. That's great. Okay. Oh, -ho -ho! <laughs> How is it kind of feeling to you in terms of True to feel, you're getting a consistent feel at the net. Are you happy to put it where you want to? Yeah, I think like maybe if I play with it a little bit more, I'd feel mm -hmm. more comfortable. But yep. considering that this is the first time I've used it. Yeah, it's quite, quite a great. natural transition yeah. to this racket. Okay. I mean, sometimes YouTube, you film these things, you have to get it right. This is the very first service hit with that racket and in a point, ace out wide. What a shot, what a shot. Oh mate, it does look good, doesn't it? Oh. 
it actually feels quite normal and if anything at the top yeah. this, this part part feels quite like quite good yeah you get a bit more pop with it oh, that is a nice bit of kick oh man it's clutch so Shiro, we'll just get your impressions in terms of the, uh, the point play with the racket. Trusting it, obviously you're hitting some great serves with that out wide, nice ace, backhand, looked reasonably grooved. It's just trusting that racket in terms of point play, I guess. The only, only thing like, I'll have to get used to is the slice. Mm -hmm. It's just, just like a tiny bit like uh, smaller head size, but I actually feel I serve better with this. Than your current racket? Yeah, I think so. In more pop? Okay. Pop, but also just on the second serve. Yeah. I can actually like kick it up a bit higher. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe like certain little shots I'll have to get used to in terms of like yeah. when you're defending the slice. Yeah. But in general, I think, in terms of the serve in particular, it's, yeah. it's noticeably different. I mean, the out wide serve, is that one of your favourites? Yeah, it actually like hitting the tee, but she... Yeah. She said her backhand was her favourite shot, so I decided to go on. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, you, there was wide and then there's that. You nearly put her in the curtains, so it was a great serve. This feels really powerful. Um, it's really good so far, but I'm just trying to control it at the moment. So far, I'm not like loving it, just because I'm finding it hard to control. Because right now I play with the Blade 98, and it has quite a lot of control, and that's what I try to look for in a racket. And this one seems to be really powerful, so just trying to adjust at the moment. I think what's happening, Michelle, is just coming from the Blade, where obviously you've got a slightly lower launch angle. This is the 100X, so it's a 60-19 pattern, 100 inch head. So she's hitting cleanly, but I think just adapting that length, finding that length for her with a higher launch angle. A bit more power on this frame. She hits such a clean ball. further thoughts on the frame then what are you thinking <laughs> um i want to say that i love it yeah. but i'm slowly i think it's a racket that i might like grow to love yeah yeah, yeah. it's like so what are you finding obviously it looks super clean from where we're shooting it looks like it's coming and maybe hitting a good ball but for you what is it that you're lacking at the moment or not that there with I feel like I have to slow down my arm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I think that is a big, like, I am, I feel like I have a lot of power yeah. from my upper body. Yeah. So when I feel like I have to slow down my arm, it no, kind I of, got you. Yeah. it kind of puts me, not off, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's a bit in my head. You're having to, like, rein it in almost to keep yeah. that ball in court. But okay. I don't feel like I can accelerate as fast as I can. Yeah. Uh, because I think it would hit the back fence for me. So for someone like yourself who's got their own power, hits a super clean ball, that's I guess more the blade in the sense of that it hones that power, you've got yeah. your own swing speed and this 100x is maybe for someone that wants a little bit more free power. Yeah. Which is interesting because the pro staff you think no power, right? Pro staff is all about control, great feel, like a legendary racket. This new 100X has got power behind it, guys. So you're getting a bigger launch angle, a higher launch angle, sorry, and more free power. It does take time to adapt to, and it's definitely a different racket than the 97, okay, in terms of power generation and that launch angle. No, I feel that for sure. Like, I think it might be a really nice racket for someone that likes to play a bit of an all-rounder, maybe, and then likes to accelerate on some of the rack like balls. I think it would be really nice. I think if you're a really aggressive player, I think you might have to adjust. Like, I don't think it's a bad racket for you. I think you might have to just adjust for a little while with it. From here, looking like when you're hitting it flat and through the ball, it's coming off really nicely. Yeah. Are you finding maybe with the topspin strokes, that's maybe not coming down as quick, as sharp as a blade, for example? Yeah, actually, I think this has like a lot of spin as well. Like <laughs> when I'm hitting it flat, it's coming off quite like clingy, like on the other <laughs> side, like <laughs> clingy. <What? laughs> Is that sorry? <laughs> what can I say? No, you go for it. That's quite No, funny. I don't want to say clean. <laughs> That's the difference, really, with the blade. You're just honing that in. It's, you're 
can go full out for your strokes, but that yeah. one's not going out. Exactly. Yeah. Like, with, like I was saying, like the Blade 98, like I can swing really hard and the yeah. ball won't fly. Yeah. But some people might not really like that. I think some people actually yeah. prefer a racket that gives them power. I just think personally. And I you know what's strange? Michelle's come from a 100 inch racket, right? We've done the eight racket test. She was on a Vika 100. It's all about 100 inch rackets. Now she's telling me she can't use the hundreds. It has to be 98s, <laughs> 97s. She's going to be using a Pro Staff 90 soon for that control. Backhand. Well, give him a backhand, see if he shakes it. Maybe the forehand. <laughs> you, you get a good ball with that racket. It's so interesting to get the player's feedback. You're on the side of the court and she's getting great power with that racket. She's hitting it super clean. So she mentioned she wants a bit more control. I think now comes out the legendary 97. Okay, have a look at this. 315, the 97. 315 grams, 1619 pattern, but it's going to give her a more controlled feel because it's a 97 inch head, guys. So let's have a little swap. A few more from the back with this one. So it's interesting just watching her hit now. You can tell she's got more control. I think you can see a slightly lower launch angle off her racket here as she's playing. It's going to be great to get her feedback as she comes off court. First impression does she love that extra control? Does she feel like she's maybe missing something here? Yeah, she's going to love the racket now. If you're hitting net cords and they're dropping over like that, you've got to love that racket. It's interesting for you uh, YouTube viewers if this kind of pace translates, getting this court level hitting for you now. They're hitting just an absolutely meaty ball, meaty, flat, early. Yeah, us mere mortals wouldn't be able to stick in this rally. So, 100x, you're finding, you like the feel of it, lots of power, you're finding you have to slow down your arm in order to keep the ball in. I don't think that's what's going to come back with this one. But is it maybe too much control? What do you feel? What's your impression? Uh, I feel like they're actually pretty similar, even though the head shape is a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm still getting a lot of power from it. Like yeah, It's not yeah. like I had to swing my arm faster, but I do feel more control, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Like if I had to personally pick which head size, I'd probably pick the smaller one for me personally. From the back. Yeah. What about the serves? What were you getting with the 100X? There was a few smiles when you were using this one. Easy felt really power, good. <laughs> yeah. it did, honestly, it felt really good. Like, I don't know, honestly, I feel like if I trained with this and played with it for a couple of weeks, I actually think I might really grow to love it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know how to, like I served and like now I've had a few more rallies, like it's coming off so nice. Like. Yeah. I can't really deny that it's like coming yeah. off really nicely, so... Michelle's got that classic racket tester itis, where as soon as you get a racket in your hand, you have that honeymoon feeling, and the 100 X she's finding lots of free power, maybe struggling to keep that ball in court. But now in the back of her head, she sits in great serves with that racket, <laughs> and she's thinking, actually, that might be for me. Pro Staff 97 has given her more control, as we knew it would. She's still feeling like she's getting a nice amount of power from the baseline with it. She hits an amazingly dreamy, clean ball. So I think these are great rackets for her. So let's watch her play a bit more, get a bit more impression about how she feels about the rackets. Oh my God, Michelle just hit two amazing bodies. Oh! First impression between the 97 and the 100X was they felt quite similar. Is that still your thought process after hitting a little bit longer? Um, I feel like they're not too far off, but I feel like now that I've hit with this one, it, the 100 has more of a sweet spot, mm -hmm. I find. Yeah. So like if you contact the ball nicely mm -hmm. with the 100, yeah. it's going to come off your racket like incredible. Yeah, yeah. With this one, I'm sure it would too, but I find it more often with the 100. So the big thing you mentioned with the 100 is slowing down your arm. With this one, do you feel like if you're going full out, you've got that control to keep it in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think I have to try it out with some point play. But yeah, I let's go so. for it. Woo! Oh. 
chopped. I'm just feeling like lag. Like, yeah. Yeah. So much. Yeah. Which I'm not used to. It's interesting what Michelle's talking about now. She used to use the V Core 100, which is 300 grams. Now she's moving more towards an E-Zone or a Blade, which is 305. This is another step up at 315. And I think she's finding the timing just a little bit lag because of the weight. She's having to really accelerate a little bit more because of that extra weight. It's finding it a little bit trickier. What are you finding with that now is serving? I'm finding it really heavy on my shoulder. Yeah. And it's just feeling heavy overall. Like when the ball comes deep, I'm just like really struggling to get that like, I don't know, that head speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like even though I want to do it, it's just so late kind of, yeah. which I'm not used to. Yeah, so obviously when you're going up in weight, it's one thing to think about. You're going to have to be a little bit later on your strokes with the same swing. So you need to make sure you're preparing that bit earlier. More racket head speed is going to be tough to generate because of the extra weight. So we're trying something a little bit different in the way we're formatting this review. I want to get really in depth into exactly why they're feeling, why they're feeling on the court, okay? A little bit more authentic, I think, in terms of when you're getting that impression of how it translates to a first hit, a first impression of a racket, volleys, serves, and also when they're playing points. How do they, you know, how do they hit with a new racket in terms of points? Does that racket translate to the way they play when they're playing match play as well? So first impression, the 97 and the 315, you think it would give you more control and that was more like your blade. And you think the 100X is maybe a little bit more powerful and you're struggling to control it. Yeah. As you're going through the review, what is your kind of impression? Now you've hit volleys, now you've played for longer, now you've played match points. Uh, I think I first started off liking the 97 more because I had the control, like Ross was saying. But when I started playing the points on the surf, I noticed it the most that I was hitting a lot of clean, really good shots with the 100. Uh, I think it suits my game actually a bit more like I had to slow down my arm a little bit with the hundred yeah. But the longer I played with it the less I had that feeling I think as a player we can adjust quite Easily to certain things. So overall I think I started loving the hundred more than the 97 As there you have it. It's a little bit pros and cons when you pick up a racket that's powerful wider beam bigger head size You've got that extra free power and also the thinner beam, smaller head size, more control. And when you're putting that into a match scenario, when you're taking a racket out to, you know, that you've got a trust that generates the power you want to, and also complements your strengths, don't forget. That's when it's interesting to see how rackets change. And lots of people go on a racket journey and they go up and down, they go through different head sizes, try lots of different things, and it can be confusing. That's why we're trying to really hit the nail on the head now for Michelle, who's an amazing pro player. What would she feel more comfortable going into a match scenario with? And you're starting to gravitate towards the 100X. Yeah, I think so. I fir like I said, at first it was the 97, but the longer I play with it, I think I would feel more comfortable with the 100. It felt a bit more flexible. Like I felt like I could get away with a bit more with this racket. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, you need that free points. You need that you know, big serve down the tee. You want extra cheap points, free points, however you want to word it. This, she was getting more of those with, you know, easy power, putting it away. Maybe you're an hour in, a set into a match, and you're needing to rely on that power of a racket. So it's that constant balance in terms of specs and things you're going on that journey to find that right racket for you. One thing Michelle did mention quite clearly was the weight of these rackets. So these are both 315 grams unstrung, right? Michelle previously used the 300 gram, the 100 square inch racket, and then we moved her maybe to 305. 315, I think we're comfortable in saying it's a bridge too far, that weight. You're finding that lag on the forehand, on serves, you're saying her shoulder feels a little bit tired from that. So you just say these rackets complement your game, but in all, they need to be that 305 gram sort of weight for you. Yeah, I felt like I couldn't get the acceleration that I wanted. And when the ball came fast and deep, I was really struggling to um, swing through the ball, which I felt really uncomfortable with. If your players are used to a 315 gram weight, this is a super unique racket, like a pro star thinner beam in this 100 inch head. That's never been done before, as far as I know, in terms of pro stars. And it's gonna open a lot of doors to players that want to use a pro star, want that legendary feel, but want that extra free power. Whereas the 97 does what the pro star does best, feel, control, and a racket you're gonna trust all your shots with. 
You have to have your own power though, guys. If you've got slower swing speeds, if you're maybe needing that extra put away power, that 97 isn't gonna be for you. But if you've got your own swing speed and want something that's dialed in, super control orientated, then look, it's a legendary racket for a reason. It does that amazingly well.